Well, Christmas has come early and Avid has released Pro Tools 2022.9. Lots of new features with this new version of Pro Tools, including Aura 2 support for apps like Melodyne. Fantastic feature. However, I am most excited about Aux IO and Pro Tools new audio bridge drivers. We are going to have a look at using them alongside Session Wire. It makes for a great combination. It's really a match made in heaven. I know a lot of people are still using audio movers and Zoom. This solution combines everything into one little package. Very easy to collaborate and work with people online. Let's dive into my Pro Tools session here. We'll have a look. Traditionally, when working with Session Wire, we would add the Session Wire Send plugin on the end of my effects chain on my mix bus. However, we're going to do things a little bit differently today. We're going to go to Setup, I.O., and we're presented with the normal input and output routing lists. We're going to click this new button right here, Aux I.O. We're presented with a warning that says this only works from Big Sur on up. However, I'm using this with Mojave. It's just unofficially supported. So there you go. Here we see all of our new audio bridge drivers. There are six of them. We're going to use the two channel drivers for Session Wire right now. I've already pre-labeled Audio Bridge 2A as my Session Wire Send driver, and I've labeled 2B as my Receive driver. I'm going to set 2A to be an output because I am sending audio out to Session Wire, and I'm going to set 2B to be an input because I'm receiving audio into Pro Tools using 2B. If I click OK, it will add the appropriate inputs and outputs here, and I'm going to click OK again. Now, on my master fader, I'm going to create a send to an output, and I'm going to select Session Wire Send 1, 2. And I'm going to option click my fader here, which will bring it up to Unity. I will go to the Session Wire app and select Audio Bridge 2A because I selected that as my Session Wire Send. And I will hit play in Pro Tools, and we'll see signal in the meter here and signal in my HQ audio meter here. There you have it, streaming audio out using Audio Bridge. We're going to also look at bringing audio in from Session Wire. So I'm going to call my friend Dan Smith. Dan will answer. Dan just happens to be the computer sitting beside me. Here we are. We're in the call with Dan. Now, if Dan were to stream me audio right now, I would hear this coming out of my headphones. Sounds great, but it's not showing up in my Pro Tools session. We're going to create a new aux track, a new stereo aux track or aux input, and we're going to label this Session Wire Receive. And on this Session Wire Receive track, we're going to change the input. Once we've got the input set to Session Wire Receive 1, 2, I'm going to change the output to my digital to analog conversion, my output 1 and 2. And we're going to have, oh, jump the gun. We're going to go into Session Wire here and change our HQ audio destination to Pro Tools Audio Bridge 2B because I selected that as my Session Wire Receive aux IO. And now I'm going to have Dan hit play and we'll see signal show up in Pro Tools. There you have it. Setting up Aux IO in Pro Tools 2022.9. Again, a match made in heaven. Pro Tools Session Wire combining both video and audio in one solution for your remote communication needs. Looking forward to seeing what you get up to with Pro Tools 2020.9. Let me know in the comments how you're using Aux IO. See ya.